The wrath of Hurricane Dorian left many Bahamians in the Abacos and Freeport with nothing but the clothes on their backs. But with the help of homeowners insurance, a number of these individuals are now attempting to rebuild. The Morning Edition team sat down with the chief of a local insurance agency to discuss the importance of home insurance and the storm's impact on the industry. All of the experts uh, tell us that we can expect uh, more severe hurricanes, probably more frequent hurricane occurrences. Bahamians can possibly encounter severe storms between June 1st and November 31st each year. But if we're not prepared, natural disasters could cause dire consequences. Take Hurricane Dorian, for example, which claimed many lives and left destruction behind while severely hitting the insurance sector. President and CEO of Bahamas First, Patrick Ward, says with a mixture of homes, cars, and motor vessel premiums, about 25% of their portfolio is in Abaco and Freeport. Interestingly enough, he says Hurricane Dorian has recorded the largest claims payout in the industry. The industry will spend somewhere between 1.5 and 2 billion dollars uh, in overall claims that um, cover mostly Abaco, Grand Bahama, but also other parts of the Bahamas, uh, mostly in the northern uh, sector. Um, that number um, will represent the largest claim that we've had uh, as an industry. But I have to say that I've been proud to be a part of the industry uh, at, at this time because I think in a very general sense, the industry has performed very well. Uh, most companies have been able to meet their obligations without any difficulties. And I expect that we will be able to, to meet all those uh, obligations uh, in full. Abaco and Grand Bahama traditionally have been very important markets to Bahamas First. And so quite a number of our clients that are part of our overall Bahamas portfolio reside in Abaco um, and, and in Grand Bahama. Uh, some of them are second homeowners, a uh, significant part of that being in Abaco. And so as a percentage of our overall portfolio, um, you know, it's, it represents about a quarter of our business. So it's quite significant to us. And um, what we're finding is that uh, Dorian really produced a significant number of claims, both in Abaco and in Grand Bahama. But while Dorian spiked insurance claims, Ward says there are still other factors that could place the value of your home and your position to claim in the red. One of them, Ward says, is relapsing of payments. So clearly insurance will be one component of the recovery process that will help them to reestablish that value in the home. But there are some people that, uh, for whatever reason, uh, some of it because of under insurance, some of it because of no insurance at all, uh, will not be able to establish that value at the levels that they were at before the storm in a, in a very quick fashion. And again, that demonstrates the importance of having, not just having insurance, but having adequate amounts of insurance. But inevitably, um, there are going to be a number of persons because their homes were completely destroyed mm -hmm. that don't have an asset to insure. Some people have lost uh, their cars, uh, other assets um, that are it's going to take some time to replace. So we expect that there are going to be some uh, a number of people that won't have um, the ability to purchase insurance because the asset is simply not there to insure. Um, but over time, our expectation is that people will move uh, both at an individual level and collectively within the communities in Abaco and Grand Bahama to, to rebuild, uh, to restore. And even though it's been four challenging months for residents who lost everything in Hurricane Dorian, Ward says the insurance company has brought some relief by distributing almost 100% of their payments to help clients get back to normal. I can say from our perspective, we've seen every claim that has been reported to us. Um, we've paid out a significant portion of that. I would say we're over 80% now complete. Um, and our expectation is that within the next couple of months that we will be almost uh, fully complete with all the claims payments. Um, you know, at varying, at varying stages of, of settlement, uh, you know, we are doing our best to make sure that people have money in their possession so that they can start the process of rebuilding.